Today I wanted to show you the disk speed of my new SSD drive, probably the fastest SSD on the planet, the Samsung Evo 970. Hope you enjoy. What's up boys and girls? So my name is Vin Jemfield, as you probably know, in case you haven't, nice to meet you. So today it's a very simple um, sort of a disk speed test just to show you the practical side of having like a really fast uh, SSD drive. Uh, first I wanted to talk about the fact that this, uh, this disk was not easy to put into my computer. So first of all, I, I this is gonna get a bit technical. Uh, I know you wanna see like performance speeds and stuff, but I, it's important because otherwise, if you just see the performance speed, you just run out and buy it and you won't know the complications of it. Now it works fine, but uh, in order for me to make it work, there were a couple of things, uh, a couple of hiccups that I had. So number one thing is that I, I, it looks like a, it looks like a circuit board, and you put it on your motherboard in a very different way than you do on than most things. It's not like uh, the RAM sticks. It, it looks like a RAM stick, but you sort of attach it in a different way. It's not difficult to attach, not at all. But the first hiccup that I had is that my you know, I just assumed that since I had this M2 um, space on my motherboard, I just assumed that it's a standard and it would work with everything, right? Wrong. See, there are different M2 standards like 2X, 4X, uh, NMVE standard and the, the Samsung 970 Evo, uh, I got the 500 gigabyte version it just didn't want to run completely fast like i was running uh, a disk speed test and it just did not hit the speed that i wanted i wanted a disk speed that was 3500 megabytes per second read speed and i just did not get it like i had something like 700 and it's it's not it's a faster than a regular ssd but it wasn't fast enough you know so what I did then was I bought myself a PCIe adapter, PCI Express adapter, where I could put in the M2 SATA uh, card. And I, you'd think that this would work, right? Uh, no, I, I doubled the speed and I had something like a read speed of uh, 1,400 megabytes per second. So I, I basically doubled the disk speed great but it's not as advertised you know so what i did then was i replaced it uh I, I put it in a different slot i have like three pci express slots on my motherboard and finally i got it to work but it's not perfect and let me show you okay so here you have the disk speed test and just uh, as a reference point we're gonna pick a different target uh, at first, just to show you, I have the 860 EVO, one terabyte hard drive. This is a regular SSD drive and you get something around 500 write speed almost, um, which is at least a lot faster than a regular hard drive, you know, and, and see you get the read speed. So uh, approximately 500 megabytes per second, which is really good. You know, it's so much faster than a regular hard drive. I'm not complaining at all. Um, so let's let's start with uh, let's go with go ahead and do the real test of the day, and we're gonna pick the 970 Evo. Okay, that's that's really weird. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, I'm just gonna reboot this one, and I'm gonna start the black magic thing again. Now I know that this will, I don't know why it said that there is like a read speed, that's nonsense. But I know that when I start this, the start disk is the 970 EVO. So when I hit the start test, we're going to see some serious stuff. So you get a read speed about 2400 two and you get a, a, sorry, write speed 2400 and a read speed approximately to to eight to almost 2800 megabytes per second that's really good it's not as advertised but you know what 
I'm satisfied, guys. You know, I'm not going to complain. This is this is this is a good result as far as I'm I'm concerned. You know, so I'm not complaining at all. So that was it. You know, and um, as far as you know, performance uh, increase. Does it feel faster to edit videos? No. Does it feel faster to start uh, apps and stuff? No. To be honest, no. Does it does it boot faster at least? Uh, honestly, I couldn't tell you. Like maybe there is like a two second two seconds faster it honestly doesn't bother me as much what i the reason i got this is because i do a lot of video editing and i just felt like you know what i don't want the the hard disk to be my bottleneck but i did a video recently about ssd hard drives and how they're actually just not um you don't need it usually when you do uh performance high performance tasks on your computer you don't really need an ssd drive um, so, you know, you get a fraction of a second faster uh, loading times on apps and stuff, but um, at this point, just uh, having this for about a week, I'd say, you know, just stick to a regular uh, SATA SSD drive, you know, don't don't go aboard with this thing. It's, it's expensive for the extra that you have to pay for it. I would suggest just get a bigger SSD drive. That's, that's my honest tip right there okay that was it for today hope you enjoyed this test this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and i'll talk to you later okay that was it hope you enjoyed this video and if you did see that like button smash it and i got some freakishly awesome videos coming up better subscribe so you don't miss a beat i'll see you later peace